What's up guys? Wanted to make a one year review of my 2019 Hyundai Elantra SEL. I would be doing it outside, but as you can tell, it's extremely windy, like 30 mile an hour winds. So I'm just gonna kind of go over my car. I currently have 16,056 miles. And I like this car so far. Had a year, it's been through quite a bit. So far, this car has gotten sideswiped twice, got my driver window busted out, and I've gotten rear-ended about 50 miles an hour. So, as far as luck goes with this car, it's pretty horrible. <laughs> but it's made it through everything. Even when I got rear-ended at 50 miles an hour on the highway, since the car was still quote unquote drivable from insurance, both my taillights were still good and everything. Um, I drove it that way for a month until insurance got all lined up and actually started to work on my car. And I drove just like nothing ever happened. The only thing is I did have some like warning lights that would randomly come on and ABS lights would come on randomly and all that. So it wasn't too fun, but it got replaced. Um, there is some signs of it being branded if you open up the spare tire cover in the trunk you can still see kind of the crinkles from it and you can kind of tell paint defects when they painted it and everything um, I'll include that in the video and uh, otherwise it's done pretty good my driver window is still kind of scratched up I didn't go through insurance just because I had about a thousand dollars of stuff taken and my car insurance only covers two hundred dollars of it so it wasn't even worth spending five hundred dollars on a deductible so I just paid I think it was a hundred and sixty three dollars for the window to get replaced I don't really know where I'm at so. Um, otherwise it's done really well it you know got better gas mileage when I worked half an hour away I did commute on the highway and all that um, as of right now I only drive like two miles to work so I mean the car barely even gets warmed up by the time I'm you know at work or back at home but I do like some of the features with this I like doing the you know, select shift every once in a while in sport mode does actually make a difference. Um, as of right now, I think that's one thing I found that is very helpful is the tire pressure monitor. I've never had that in any car and I've had, you know, low tire pressure light come on. And it's like you're going around checking because it's just one PSI that makes it go. And that helps a lot, being able to click that menu and just see what tire it is. What I was getting to was my MPG, I'm averaging 30.7 right now. That's just because I don't really drive on the highway anymore. That's pretty good. Um, I only have 53 miles till empty. And it looks like I have... 304.6 miles on this tank which is pretty good for city driving the only issues I've ever had with this car is when I first had it it's very sensitive the passenger seat as far as if you put anything in the seat or what you put in the seat it'll always make your um seatbelt warning or airbag warning go off and it just keeps dinging and dinging and dinging and it's, it'll never stop so you have to not have anything in the seat which is what I was doing and it still started doing that so I had to end up taking it back into Hyundai and they recalibrated the seat sensor 
which I guess is actually putting physical weights on the seat in certain spots and calibrating it that way. And I haven't had a single issue now. Now I can put maybe two, three pounds in the seat, depending on where I set it and not have it go off. So that does help quite a bit. But as far as that, that's the only issue I've ever had with this car. I do every once in a while, you know, wish I had the sport model so I can actually kind of modify the car. As far as this car goes, all I can really do is appearance mods, really. There's nothing, can't really do any exhaust work or anything. It's just a basic two liter four cylinder engine. There's not a whole lot you can do to get much more performance out of it. So it's kind of, it is what it is. Um, on this channel, I am going to start working on uh, my girlfriend's 2018 Chevy Cruze. It's a, I think a 1.6 liter turbo. Uh, it's whatever they have stock in them. But I might do maybe a cold air intake on that and kind of see what I can do. Hers is completely stock right now. So I might, you know, do... I've already ordered some LED headlights. Let's see what else we can do to it. I've never worked on that car before, so everything's new as far as that goes. So you'll start seeing more of that car on this channel. And I'm gonna film, actually, in about an hour probably, a video for when this car runs out of gas what it does what happens when you hit zero miles till empty so by the time you're watching this that video will probably be up also if you want to click on that and watch it. it should be pretty entertaining i definitely need to go get gas before i run out though i have a gas can in the trunk so we'll see but this car is holding up pretty well um after I did, I said I got sideswiped twice. The f first one was uh, someone that parked next to me hit my front bumper and kind of got a quote for paint, you know, doing a touch up kit. And it was about $120, $150 for paint and be able to sand it down and get everything back to where it should be. And the person that did it paid me 200 bucks to do it and I was just lazy and never did it and I was like this car's you know been through a lot already maybe I'll just leave it so I used the 200 bucks and whatever and then my last side swipe was or my last accident was the side swipe um, as you've seen in a previous video and hit that exact same spot and did a whole lot more damage than that person parking next to me ever did. So that ended up fixing that other damage. So I pretty much just got 200 bucks out of the deal. But everything's good now. The only damage I have on this vehicle is this driver window that is all scratched up from whatever crowbar or whatever they used to bust out the window. I still have some duct tape marks on this little black piece by the window that I need to clean off when I had a trash bag over it because it happened at like 2.30 in the morning when I was doing snow removal for the school district. So it is what it is. But overall, I'd rate this car probably a 4 out of 5. I do wish there were some more kind of appearance things in the vehicle. I know it's not a sport package, but I wish they'd do something. It just, that seems so basic in here. Everything's like pretty cheap plastic. This here, it's pretty cheap, but I mean, it serves its purpose. It's a good commuter car, but stay tuned. I'll keep you updated on what videos I'm doing. Um, by the time you're done watching this, you should probably have a suggestion for another video I made, which is going to be the fuel video. Uh, if you want to go ahead and 
click that video or go on my channel and it should be on there. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.